Hey, howdy, hey, what is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be feeding every single amphibian I own. So, we're talking our Pac Man frog there, our greenback frog, which a lot of y'all didn't know I had, our chubby frog, wherever he's at. We're talking Gucci, our milky frogs, everybody. Every amphibian in this room is getting fed. That also includes our Pac Man frogs. Those three tubs are Pac Man frogs. All those tubs are Pac Man frogs. Now, the only thing that we're going to be doing differently with those guys is I'm probably going to only feed one or two of those on camera just so I don't have to go through like 16 different frogs because that'll take ages and this video will take forever. I'll basically find like two or three of the best feeders in those tubs and feed those guys. Just so we don't have to go through like 16 different frogs because otherwise that would take ages. And then of course we got my dart frogs in their beautiful enclosure here. These guys got to get fed as well wherever they're hiding. Nonetheless, a lot of my reptile room actually consists of amphibians. But without further ado, let's just continue along. I got to get some crickets and then I got to get some mice so we can feed some of these animals. Now, I don't have to go to any pet store to get the mice. And the reason being, if you look closely, some of these rats that I've rescued ended up having babies. As you can see, those little pink babies right Right there those little guys are gonna be getting fed and I know it's sad a lot of you guys don't like it when I feed live mice and whatnot to my animals but it's kind of the way it's got to go and either they're gonna get frozen and get fed later or all of those babies are gonna get fed now um, and I think it's better to feed them live to the animals anyway it's kind of like eating a frozen steak versus a fresh one So first off, without further ado, we're going to be feeding our Dendro Babies Aratus Dart Frogs. Now they're in this absolutely massive enclosure, as you can see. This thing is giant, so I don't know how many good shots we'll be able to get of them eating. But we've got our fruit flies, we've got some calcium in the little cup that I used to mix them together. Once we mix them together, we're going to toss them in and hopefully get to see the dart frogs eating their food. Now the only problem is this fruit fly culture is very barren, so I have to be very wise with how many I use. So I can't guarantee that this will be the most exciting feeding of them all, but if this video does do well and I do another feeding, then I promise you I'll make it better. So first things first, let's open up the door, let the fog out. Oh, look, there's a little dart frog. There's one of our little dart frogs running around right there. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, he disappeared into the forest. Now that the fog has been let out, we've literally got a very, very tiny pinch of fruit flies. I honestly was hoping to get more. We're going to dump these in here right in the center just so we can hopefully get a good view. I just completely missed that dump. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, he sees him. Oh, he's going to get him. He is going to get him. Oh, oh, come on. At least one shot. At least one shot. Give us one shot, bro. Come on. Come on. Oh, nailed him. He nailed him. Obviously, it's super hard to tell when these guys are eating just because their little tongues are so tiny. But look at that. Oh, he's getting them. He's nailing them. Where's your buddies at, dude? There he goes. Where's your buddies at, homie? Look at him. He is just going to town. Now, I'm also going to drop some springtails in there for the dart frogs because they will also be able to eat the little tiny springtails. There he goes, y'all. He's hopping around eating some springtails as you can see. I don't know where his buddies are at. His buddies are literally all across the enclosure. They need to hurry up and make their way out too. Well, as you can see, there's kind of a size comparison. That's our dart frog compared to the enclosure. I mean, look, look at how tiny he is compared to the enclosure. So, obviously, all of his other five buddies are probably hopping around. We probably got some up top here. We got, oh, there's one of them. There's one of the buddies right there. So, that's two of the six. But, yeah, they kind of just go across this entire enclosure. And, heck, if y'all think I should get more dart frogs for this enclosure or other animals that we can see in here with the dart frogs, let me know that in the comments. Let me know what suggestions y'all have because I'm trying to take notes and I want to make sure it's going to be a good animal for this enclosure and an animal that won't of course hurt the dart frogs. Alrighty y'all as you can see we're moving on to one of three of our pet cane toads right there. That is Lucky. Now he's got a whole story and if y'all want to know that story let me know down in the comments. But we're going to be feeding this guy all sorts of things. First we're going to try mice and if he doesn't want the mice then we got a whole bunch of crickets right here to feed him. Little brother are you ready to feed that toad right there? Y-E-S. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. So we just tried giving Lucky a mouse, but he went straight into his hide. He was not having any of the little mice. So instead, we're gonna give him some crickets. Alright, y'all. Crickets in. Oh, Lucky just got one of the crickets. Oh, 
Oh, got another one. Y'all see that? He just nailed him. Literally, it's like just a death trap. If they walk past that cave, they're getting eaten. All right, I'm going to take one of these little mouse here. One of these little mousies. And I'm going to toss it in in front of the hide. And hopefully, hopefully, if we're lucky, lucky, I'll get it. Oh, he just got it. He just got it. You just toss it in front of it. Oh, my gosh. Toss another one in. Keep it just like that. Good job, little brother. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Let's see. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Oh, come on, Lucky. Don't let us down now. Y'all see his nose? Y'all see his nose right there? Don't let us down. Oh, snap. He's waiting for the mouse. To oh. <gasps> oh, my goodness. He almost got the mouse. He almost got the mouse, y'all. This is literally terrifying. <gasps> He's trying to get it. He's trying to get it. Keep it. Keep, keep. He's trying to get it. Oh. 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 <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, that hurt. He, he just nailed that little mouse. That so that is approximately two down out of like 50 mice. Let's continue along with the rest of the feeding. All right, y'all. Next up, we've got the fire belly toads. One of them is literally chilling right there. The other one's probably somewhere in the water, and we probably won't be able to see him eat too much. Now, I'm sorry for how dirty the glass looks, but the water splashes up, and it kind of stains the glass. But I have this little cleaner to help clean it. So hopefully, we'll get good views of these guys eating their food. But without further ado, we got our crickets, our little tiny crickets. Let's drop them in. Little brother's dropping some of the smalls. Not too many. Don't tilt it too much. Don't tilt it too much. All right, y'all. Crickets are in. Our fire belly toads are taking notice. Uh-oh. He sees the cricket. Is he going to nail it? Is he going to nail it? Come on, buddy. Get it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Watch out, little brother. Oh, did y'all see that? Oh, and then he took it into the water. Disappeared. Holy smokes. He nailed that cricket. All right, y'all. Next up, we have our baby Pac-Man frogs. Now, keep in mind, I have like 16 of these little baby Pac-Man frogs. So we're only gonna feed a few of them. We're not gonna feed all of them. So go ahead, little brother, drop like two large. I'll help you out. We're gonna drop them in and see them attack them. All right, yeah, we got a cricket here. Come on, buddy, get it, get it. You know you want it. Come on, don't turn it down. All right, let's see if this guy wants one. You want one, buddy? Oh, he got it. Oh, nailed it. Look at him. He just nailed that cricket. Got him just like that. Next up, we got one of our albino frogs. Let's see if this little albino dude's gonna eat for us. Come on, buddy. Oh, got it. Just like that. Got it. Look at him go. Our albino frog has eaten. Right, now we got one of our Pac-Mans and a full meal. This little Pac-Man will not have to eat for a while if he takes it. Come on. You going to get it, buddy? Oh! Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. I mean, it's really fascinating to see these frogs eat and just see how their body works when they are eating. Oh my goodness. The good thing about these little rats getting eaten is their eyes aren't even open. Um, these frogs don't have teeth, so they're not really feeling much and they're just kind of gone. Holy smokes. Look at that, y'all. All right, y'all, we got a, a grumpy frog here. This is the grumpy one. Oh, oh my God, nailed that mouse. Oh my goodness, nailed it like it was nothing. But look at how gorgeous that frog is. That is a beautiful Pac-Man frog. Absolutely nailed it. Holy smokes, what do you think of that? Sad. Oh, okay, all right. Hey, this is the last baby Pac-Man frog we're gonna feed. We still have a ton up top. We're going to give this guy a mouse right here. Let's see if he eats it for us. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Get it, dude. Oh, my goodness. He may not even eat it. Is he not going to eat it? Oh. 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 He got it. He got that mouse all right. Holy smokes. Now keep in mind, when feeding your baby Pac-Man frogs mice, you're not going to want to feed it for at least a month after. I know that sounds crazy, but the calcium in the bones and, and all the meat that's on that mouse has to take time to digest. That's a really big meal for a little frog like that. Um, this will also help these frogs grow quicker too, which is good, especially if you want a big adult Pac-Man frog. And once again, I'm sorry if you're against feeding the little mice and stuff like that, but it's for educational purposes. It's really interesting and fascinating to watch these frogs eat. All right, y'all, so it looks like we're running a little bit low on our container of mice here. So let's go ahead and get more. Holy smokes. And there we go, our container 
full of fresh mice to feed all of our frogs and toads. All right, y'all, next up in this tub here, we have a little tiny cane toad and a Sonoran desert toad. This cane toad that's in this tub is, as a matter of fact, for sale. Link in the description on the exotics. You know the drill. And the Sonoran desert toad, I was going to have for sale, but when I got it and when it came into me, it was actually missing an arm. The Sonoran desert toad is doing perfectly fine now. The wound is clean and everything like that, but it was kind of interesting, and I'm not going to sell any of you guys a toad missing an arm. But we're going to take some of our mice here. We're going to put it in, and hopefully, just hopefully, they'll eat one of the mice. <gasps> the Sonoran Desert Toad's trying to get one. Oh, nailed it. Did y'all see that? Absolutely just annihilated it. Then we're going to drop one in front of the Cane Toad's little house. Oh, he got another one. These guys are absolutely just annihilating their food. All right, let's see if these guys are going to eat here. Holy smokes. As you can see, that one is missing one arm. That's the arm that is missing, which is absolutely crazy. But as you can see, this toad has no loss of appetite. Um, it is definitely a hungry toad. Alrighty, now we've dumped some crickets for these guys to snack on. As you can see, the Sonoran Desert Toad is absolutely just annihilating those crickets. The Cane Toad does as well, but he's a little bit more shy, so he went right back into his hide. But it's still cool nonetheless to see these guys just devour their meal. Well, next up, we've got our Pac-Man frog, Chubbs. Now, he doesn't eat on camera too much, but if we're lucky, if we are lucky, we can get him to eat either some crickets or some mice. First, we're going to start off with a little mouse here. We're going to take this little buddy, and we're going to toss him into the enclosure. Who knows how he will react to this little mouse. He may just stare at it. He may eat it. I I'm not too sure yet, honestly. Come on, buddy. Are you going to eat it? Oh, he no <gasps> Oh! He just let the mouse basically walk into his mouth and then he ate it. He didn't even do too much. He just let the mouse. <laughs> that was crazy, wasn't that? <laughs> Sad. Oh, look. Okay. Well, y'all, before we continue along, let me know down in the comments, are y'all enjoying this video? I know I personally am. This is a crazy, insane video. We're feeding mice, we're feeding crickets, and we're feeding dozens of frogs. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments, are y'all enjoying it so far? Next up on our list there, we're going to be feeding our beautiful Asian greenback frog. As you can see, he's a gorgeous frog who's just chilling on the top of his enclosure. And the only problem with this guy is he never eats in person. Like, he always eats at night when he's by his lonesome. So we're going to toss crickets in. I'll keep an eye out and see if he eats them, but he probably won't. All right, y'all, crickets are in the enclosure. Now we're going to move to our Asian chubby frog. Now that frog right there is a literal potato. We're still going to drop some crickets in. Hopefully this little potato will eat for us. Oh, he just ate one. So you can see, oh, and another one. Is he going to make it a three in a row? Three in a row? Yep, three in a row. So he is eating the crickets. I tried to give him a mouse off camera, but he didn't even touch the mouse. He really does like the crickets. But um, there he goes. That's our little potato. He's an Asian chubby frog. I really, I, I really got to do something about the glass. I'm probably going to build him a whole new enclosure. And if I do, of course, I'll do a video on that. But this glass is just like permanently stained. I've tried everything to get it off. And this calcium stuff just does not want to come off. Eventually, we're going to build this guy a whole new enclosure just so it looks a lot better. Now, moving along, we've got our two fatty Sonoran Desert Toads. Now, these are my two personal Sonoran Desert Toads. I've had these girls for about two and a half, three years now. And we're going to try to feed them some mice. If they don't want the mice, then we'll give them some crickets. All right, well, I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes now. And they are just not even touching the mice. They don't want anything to do with them. So, we're going to put those mice back in the container and switch to crickets. Oh, nailed one of the crickets. These guys aren't even eating too much. They're not showing much appetite right now. Um, they did get one cricket. Hopefully, they'll get some more for you guys. Those two girls did not seem too hungry, but I think I have an animal that'll be just, just a little bit, just a tiny bit more hungry than them. I think y'all know where I'm headed with this, but it is time to feed the queen, Gucci. Oh, Gucci. Got something for you. Are you hungry, fat girl? My big girl, are you hungry? Well, y'all, I've got this handful of mice. We're literally gonna set them in and let Gucci go to town. All right, y'all, so I've thrown in some dubias and crickets. Gucci is now eating those. She didn't really want the mice, which really surprises me. Normally, she just goes to town for the mice. She's going perfectly fine with the crickets and dubia. She's straight munching them. But the mice, she's just not having. Y'all see that? She's completely ignoring the mice. Now, I know that toads have a vision based on movement. So if the mice aren't moving too much, she won't be able to see them. But they're moving enough that she should be able to see them. So I honestly think she's just like straight not in the mood for mice. There 
there she goes guys she's straight munching on the dubias and the crickets she loves the dubias and the crickets but i really don't think she's in the mood for mice look at that gucci's just going to town come on gucci you don't want any mice that's crazy she's just she normally goes to town over the mice but today she's just not having it i guess to be quite honest i don't know why she's not eating the mice i guess that's what happens when you spoil your toad too often now maybe here in a little bit we'll come back to her and see if she wants some then but for now let's move on to the next animal all right as you can see right there we are moving on to our amazon milky frogs all right i'm gonna try to give these guys a mouse i don't even know if they're gonna take it i've never given them a mouse or a rat or anything like that before what do you think buddy you crickets you want crickets ah uh, all right they want crickets we're gonna put this little guy back in the container well, as y'all can see, I've tossed in some doobie roaches and some crickets there. Now we're going to keep it. Oh, oh, y'all see him? He's about to nail it. Oh, come on, get it. Get it, bro. Get it. Nail it. Look, he's stalking his prey. Oh, he absolutely annihilated it. Now, the only unfortunate thing is our other Amazon milky frog is literally right there sleeping. So he has no clue that he's being surrounded by food right now. Maybe he'll wake up and then we'll come back with this guy and see. Oh, this guy's just going all over. Y'all see him? He's going to town over there. Our little doobie roach over here is getting a little risky. He's getting a little risky there. You might want to go down, dude. I wouldn't suggest that. It's not too good of an idea. <laughs> Alright, as y'all can see right there, the doobie roach started crawling across the milky frog's face. Now he's awake. So if we're lucky, he'll eat it. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I just came back and he ate it. Y'all see that? He literally just ate the roach and I missed it. No! Ah! Alright, we're getting another one. We're going to try that again. I don't want you guys to miss this. Let's try that game. We got another doobie roach. We're going to set it up there by him. Hopefully he eats it. If we're lucky, he will eat it. Get it. Get it, bro. It's so hard to maintain a camera in one hand and making sure crickets don't go everywhere. It's just so difficult. You guys don't even understand. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? It's right by your face, bro. Come on. Do it for the, do it for the pyrotodians. Do it. Get it, bro. Let's try a big old fat cricket here and see how they do. Oh, he nailed it. Do y'all see that? Oh, nailed that cricket. There he goes. Absolutely annihilated it. So that's both milky frogs being fed. Now, obviously, the little straggler crickets and dubias running around throughout the enclosure will get eaten over time. But yeah, they absolutely just destroyed that cricket. Well, holy smokes, y'all. That was feeding every single frog and toad that i own now obviously the only exception is the other like 10 frogs that are up there but other than that everybody is eaten and of course all those frogs are getting fed off camera and some are getting fed on tiktok so if you haven't already go follow my tiktok it's always linked in the description and i make some pretty dope reptile content so if you have tiktok you like reptiles you're subscribed to me then you might as well go follow my tiktok and gucci we're all kind of disappointed you kind of let us down gucci you kind of let us down not eating those mice. Sorry. Gucci's in a grumpy mood today. She's just in a grumpy mood. Well, y'all, with all that being said, make sure you like today's video if y'all enjoyed this complete feeding of all my pet frogs and toads. Now, as y'all can see, I have a lot, and I mean a lot, of frogs and toads. <laughs> Once you guys have liked today's video, make sure to go follow my Instagram, TheRealPyrotoadYT. It is always linked in the description, and trust me, you won't regret it. Then, of course, follow my TikTok, as I said. And lastly, but most importantly, this is the most important thing, and that is to subscribe. We are on the road to, like, 3,000 subscribers or something like that. And as you can see, we have so many animals to do so many different videos about, so definitely make sure to subscribe. And then, of course, drop video suggestions and ideas we've got an entire reptile room full of all sorts of animals and more animals outside that we can do videos on so if y'all have any video suggestions just drop it down in the comments oh and then of course cop the merch I, I there's so many things that i have to remember and i keep forgetting but yeah cop the merch subscribe like comment blah blah, blah and i'll see you all in the next one peace Why, Gucci? Just why? Why did you have to be so spoiled and stubborn today, Gucci?